Good morning. It is. It is. So I want to talk a little bit about meditation. So if we can be, do, or have everything that we want, we want to get ahead of it, how can I use that to help breathe away resistance or uh, eliminate the things that are maybe holding me back? Because when you meditate, you quiet your mind, and when you quiet your mind, you stop thought, and when you stop thought, you stop resistant thought, and when you stop resistant thought, you have access to what's in your vortex. So how can I carry that on through the day and not just for that 15 minutes? Well, maybe you can't, but you don't worry about that because that is resistant thought. Hmm. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Just catch a snatch of it here and a snatch of it there and a snatch of it there. Just do your best. Just tilt the scale just a little bit. And it won't take long because you see, right now to you, it just sounds like someone excited about something who seems like they know what they're talking about. But when you take the time to meditate or to make lists of positive aspects and you are certain or you feel pretty good that you are resistant free and then an idea bubbles up or roars up from your vortex and you follow through with it and you receive the immediate reward of feeling great that's the first thing that will happen a moment of clarity or a moment of insight or a moment of euphoria or a moment of interest doesn't matter what label you give it it feels really good to you and then another and then another we're not asking you to expect it to bubble up and b -b 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 manifest we're asking you to allow it to bubble up and feel it and acknowledge that you feel it and milk it as long as you can and see what else it turns to before your practical mind gets involved and you start introducing resistance into the equation. That's the game you want to play. How long can I go resistant free? But even when you play that game, now you make it resistant right from the get-go because you're trying to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to only think pure positive thoughts. Your contrast served you. That's how all the ingredients got into your vortex. And your inner being knows what that all adds up to. The lifetimes of glorious experience that that adds up to. We called this gathering for a while the science of deliberate creation, but you were too heavy on the thinking part. And then we began calling it the art of allowing, the art of receiving, the art of every now and again getting into the receiving mode so that you can receive an impulse about something. Don't you have experiences that you could tell one another about how you cared about something, maybe something caused you to worry about it and you cared about it and then you were carefree or maybe you don't even remember that part but you turned a corner and there it was and it just felt like it came out of nowhere. And we want you to know that things are ready to come out of what you think is nowhere all the time. Great ideas are ready to come out of what you want to call nowhere because they're not coming out of the tangible piles that you've been gathering. They're coming out of the intangible, non-resistant, well-stocked kitchen, stocked by only the ingredients that you want. And so it's about getting into the receptive mode is everything. But in order for you to know how important it is and feel the power of it, first you have to accept that your life has been serving you and that you've put many decisions and requests and goals and hopes and dreams there and that they are ready for you. When we say, you said it back to us, you can be or do or have anything that you desire and you've been putting it into your vortex in bits and pieces, but you don't have the ability to look into it and see everything that is what you want to call potential. We want to call it a done deal. And your inner being will inspire you according to your path of least resistance. Let's say that you have something that you really want, but you are really thinking in opposition of it. And your inner being knows that you want it and knows where you stand vibrationally. Your inner being will offer you impulses that will guide you around your resistant thought. You did that with your children when they were little. Do you remember? When you knew that there was that thing that they always wanted to do in that store, do you remember you never took them down that aisle? <laughs> you always took them on a path of least resistance, a path that you felt would be a more comfortable experience for them and for you. And so it's the same sort of thing. Your inner being knows. Do you meditate? Yes. Do you? Do you quiet your mind? And have you heard from us here today? Do you have a sort of renewed interest in the power of that quieted mind. 
We'll talk more about meditation if you want to. Do you want to? What do you want? I do. So quieting the mind, sometimes you know, thoughts come to me, things. Well, here's the thing. Let's say that you woke up and you were thinking about something. It could be positive or negative. Let's just say you were thinking about it. Now let's say that it's not all that positive. Then you check your email and there's more about it in there. And then you turn on the television and it's kind of like that too. And then you call a friend and you kind of get some stuff going as you are facing reality and pointing out. Esther hears it on the airplane all the time. Business people talking to their co-workers or calling their co-workers about things that they're trying to hammer into place. And she just puts her earphones on and puts her pillow on and focuses into her world and out of that because it doesn't take very much of that focus before off you go. So if you're in that sort of momentum, that's not the best time for you to say, I think I'll meditate or I think I need to meditate because you will have a very difficult time quieting your mind under those conditions. Those thoughts already have enough momentum going that that's when the lobotomy would be more helpful <laughs> or a nap. We would meditate when there's the least amount of momentum going. It's sort of like, have you ever felt like you really needed to sleep, but you couldn't sleep? And the harder you tried to sleep, the more you couldn't sleep. Well, meditation is like that for you. You say, I need to meditate. I really need this. But you can't because you're focused on what's holding you away from it. So it's what's getting bigger. So what you do is you wait for a sort of clear space. And that usually comes earlier in the morning. Maybe it comes after your kids leave the house. Maybe it comes when you're finally alone in your car somewhere. You could pull under a tree. You have to find a quiet space for it. And the earlier in the day, the better. But you'll get better and better at it. It's just a matter of focus. We recommend that you focus upon something that doesn't require very much thought. Because to say, I'm not going to think about anything, now you're thinking about not thinking about anything. And everything in the world that you're not wanting to think about, you're thinking about. But find something to focus on. It might be a bird in a bird bath. It might be the dripping of a faucet. Esther likes to listen to the air conditioner because she lives and has always lived in hot places. So the air conditioner, there's almost always that sound. Hear it? Hear how steady it is? And notice that you're not prone. There's not much to think about in that. You don't say, I've heard better. It's just a sound and it's not testing you in any way. And if you've decided to focus on it, sometimes Esther will focus on it and her mind will wander and she'll say, oh yeah, yeah. Then she'll listen for it again and then her mind will wander. But after a minute or two or three, she's isolated that. She's focused upon that. And then it's not long after that before she's got that feeling of detachment. And do you know, you could meditate for 15 or 20 minutes. That's as long as we would encourage for any one setting once a day. You could meditate for 15 or 20 minutes and you might only catch that feeling of detachment the last minute or two or three. That's enough. That's enough. Just quiet your mind and allow yourself access to what your inner being knows. What my inner being knows about what? What your inner being knows about all the things you want and what you are most likely to receive a thought about now. Sometimes if you are in an urgent situation where you're about to take a step or turn into traffic or do something that is critical to your experience, when it's a strong, strong, strong intention like living longer, sometimes even in resistance, your inner being can offer you an impulse and you will do something that you didn't even know you could do. Have you had those experiences? I handled my car better than I've ever handled it. I just can't even believe what happened. But it's so much easier to prepare yourself to be in the receptive mode. It's so much more fun. You have so much more control. So did we answer your question about meditation? Just one other question. Does Esther receive lists? Uh, that's the way I'd say it. But it, during meditation, do things come to her to do this? Uh, get an impulse to do that or write this down or are, if you're there you're not really detached Esther knows how to get into that receptive mode like right here and now she's in the receptive mode so she's quieted her mind 
She's allowed her vibration to rise to the frequency of us. So she's vibrationally compatible with us. And every intent we have, she's translating. And so you might say that. We don't offer her lists of things to do. She's the list maker. We're usually wanting to inspire her not to feel the trauma of the list. The list overwhelms. The list is all about action. The list is about puny, paltry, mediocre creation. That's not what we teach. You're not ever going to get a list from us. <laughs> what you will get from us is a feeling of invincibility. What you'll get from us is an idea that just feels good. What you'll get from us is a feeling of empowerment. But you see, until you actually get detached a few times through meditation or however you do it, appreciation does it too. And then actually feel an impulse occur to you. And the thing is, you want them to be riding on the wall, burning bushes, change the world kind of impulses. Go here, dial four, eight, seven, six, nine, two, two. And whoever answers, get their address and go right over there and look in their left hand pocket and pull out their lottery ticket and run away with it because it's a winner. <laughs> that isn't the kind of impulses that you're getting. But once you receive this impulse and you recognize the freshness of it and most important you recognize until you feel oh we want this so much for you until you feel the power of non-resistant moment even if it only lasts 10 seconds then these are just so many words but once you feel that and then have the momentum of it and the wherewithal to follow through with it and then you see that it leads to this and 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 you have that joyous journey which we keep wanting to say is really what you want and you keep saying yeah 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 I want the joyous journey too as long as it's leading me to the destination that I want <laughs> yeah 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 I want the joyous journey as long as it's leading me to the destination that I want we're speaking it so fast you can't even hear the words because you're so eager to get to the destination that you want oh yeah 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 I'm willing I'm willing 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 well, just cool your jets. Cool your jets. Just relax and enjoy. Enjoy the freshness. Enjoy the clarity. Clarity is power. Can't you feel that in yourself? Don't you know, even in your own house, you get up, you have things to do. Maybe you're going to get on a trip. Have you ever just run around in circles? And it's a miracle that you even made the plane. Haven't you had a day like that? And haven't you also had a day when you just you're usually by yourself when you have this kind of day but where everything just falls into place the traffic parts for you everyone's nice to you you have extra time you just feel good about where you are we want your lives to be calm and clear we want them to be sure and full of all of these good feelings and this is what this powerful receiving is about letting yourself receive letting yourself be the vibrational equivalent of your inner being where all of your power is and now we're just going to tell you something we love you so much you hardly meet a human who is 10 percent of that hardly ever and when you do you are amazed so we're not asking for a perfect record we're not asking you to stop ragging on that person at work that drives you crazy we're just asking you to ratchet it back a notch and we're asking you in addition look for some positive aspects too we're not asking you to meditate all day you couldn't if you wanted to some try it it's not what you want to do it's not what we want you to do we're just asking you to find 15 or 20 minutes and do your best to find a moment or two of detachment and then notice what happens next we want you to introduce yourself to your power we want you to get hooked on it because you came as creators you did not come as regurgitators you came as creators you did not come as defenders you didn't come to fix a broken world you came to create a world that is delicious to you you see